Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called, Where Do Police Recommend You Buy Your Next Home? Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to your channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's episode of our show on your social media to help get the word out. Now, let's get started. Here's a question for you. If you're shopping for a new place to live, then generally speaking, uh, where do police recommend you live from a security standpoint? Well, most will say that geographically speaking, you should get out of the inner city, get out of the downtown areas, get out of high crime major metropolises. If the zip code you're interested in is known to be gang infested, then avoid it. Don't worry about being politically correct. Avoid it. Let their properties collapse because uh, people don't, uh, don't want to live there anymore. They don't feel it's safe. But oftentimes, zip codes out in the suburbs can also become gang infested and problematic for homeowners as well. One thing they say is that individual schools and school districts are seeing much more gang activity and student violence than ever before. Riots inside the schools are not at all uncommon. They're, they're, they're happening all the time now. Also, they say that schools near the southwest border and across the country are saying that they have many more foreign students coming in who have extensive criminal history and gang affiliations. And that's escalating the crime problem. It used to be that you could reasonably assume that kids, you know, 8 to 18 walking through a neighborhood probably wouldn't be a problem. They're just kids, right? That's not the case anymore. Now the police are seeing murderers and rapists who are 10 to 19 years old running wild and hurting kids and hurting adults in the neighborhood. Generally speaking, police officers who are leaving their departments for political reasons now are relocating to the Midwest or Florida or the Deep South. Places like Tennessee, Florida, or Texas are being looked at. Also, they're considering Nevada and some other cities as places to move to for themselves and their families. Most officers recommend that you avoid relocating to major cities like New York, Miami, LA, Chicago, and Atlanta. These places are very crime-ridden, and it's only a matter of time before the homes there start to lose more value because of their growing crime. One place that most police love are the rural farm areas. Not just because of the lower population density, but also because of the culture out there. Farm areas are generally family areas. That means even though they may have the occasional criminal activity, it won't be the super violent types of crime we're now seeing in the cities. Is there a category of homes that the police say are safer? Yes. They feel that the safest homes are the ones that are in good school district areas, areas with religious communities, areas with lower population density. If you walk through an Amish community, you'll feel a kind of communal safety that you really don't see in very many other places. However, if you walk through downtown Manhattan, it's not going to look like a ghetto, but it'll have that same sense of danger and lack of security that it uh, that you see in other poorer areas now. In New York, for example, uh, they are now punching women in the face right on the sidewalk for no reason at all other than for recreational purposes. And the prosecutors aren't even punishing these criminals because that crime is seen as a low priority crime. So what else do the police recommend when moving to a new area? Get a guard dog. And by that they mean a serious dog, not a poodle or a Labrador. Next, get an alarm. Get a ring doorbell on the front door and, and some of the other doors if you can. Also get cameras for the inside and outside of the home for surveillance purposes. Check out the cars in the driveways or in front of the homes on the streets you're contemplating moving to. Clean, higher value cars on the street are a good sign and dirty or broken down cars up and down the street are a bad sign. A home with a security fence uh, is safer than one without. A family centric street or a neighborhood tends to be safer than one without a lot of transient activity. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified uh, every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's episode of our show on all your social media to get the word out. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.